And we're gonna go for a quick loss here. That's the strategy. So enemy has two good wave clear heroes. Wait, what is going on here? We're against two Grand Masters, and my Diamond One just trolled the draft. I'm Mid Masters, Mid Masters, Mid Masters, maybe. They have two GMs, they have two Diamond Ones, and then we have two Diamond Ones, and he just went Nova. So, what happened here is that we have very few heroes that can kill that can kill uh, minion waves very quickly or efficiently. So we're constantly gonna get waves that are not being cleared. And that's against the team that specializes in wave Five, pressure with Vikings. Four, Vikings are like three, a push hero. Two, so the, pro the troubling part about that is that we're probably, if there are no team fights, we just lose automatically. That's the problem with that. And every team fight we win, it's gonna be mitigated. By uh, not getting the experience from waves as much. But so far so good. So there's some lane manipulation you can do. I can, for example, not attack the wave, slowly pull it towards me without hitting it, make sure the wave meets more on my side of the map, and then don't hit the minions to force him to go deeper to get the XP. Like so. Stand in the bush. And then every time that uh, he wants to step up to soak some XP, I attack him. So that's an effective way to play against Vikings. It does mean that you can't rotate and join your teammates. But uh, see, now he's coming in for the XP and I can get some hits in on him. And I even killed him. So that happened because I did lane manipulation. Now, we don't usually do lane manipulation just because we're too lazy. We just want to brawl. I mean, I like doing it, but sometimes you get an ally that comes in to like help you to clear the wave and then there's advantage to clearing quickly as well, because you can join your team and do like a quick rotation with mount up. Rotations are a lot faster in this game. But like now, for instance, we have no one mid. And if I were a fast wave clearer, which I'm not, but if I was, then I could clear top, then clear mid, and then top again, and then mid again. This is called double clearing, and it's really uncommon in Dota. But it's very common in, in HOTS, having a hero that can clear two waves. I also have a quest that allows me to get bonus permanent auto attack damage every time I hit an enemy. That's why you hear a ding ding every single time I hit someone. Now I'm gonna join my team to try and help in the team fight rather than clearing top. So we get another hero kill out of it, but we're losing some XP top. So that's the, the trade-off. Still, it's generally a good idea because sometimes you kill an enemy and you save an ally. That's a two hero swing advantage. But now you see all the globes are small. So I give up 75% uh, of the minion wave. If he was one hit lower, I could have finished him with my blade dash. Ah, oh, that was an amazing escape. That was really well played by me. <laughs> Okay, we can go top together. Nice. Maybe we can get one more kill. Nice. Oh, big stun. Quadruple kill! Pretty nice. So instead of lane soaking, 
What we are doing here is uh, killing them, which is a quite nice tactic, I guess. Just kill them instead. I stepped into the triangle, but it's okay, one for one. Obama giving Obama a medal. <laughs> Has that happened before? <laughs> okay. What happens if we're going for a quick loss here? Okay, a slow loss then. It's even worse, because we start with hope. See? See what you did? Why did you say that, Castiglione? I'll get uh, suppression pulse. Oh no, I missed my swap. Cool story, bro. I dodged both. Dodged three things. Almost have my shield back again. We did save top forward for now, and we have Bruiser, which is nice. I wanted to go help top, but I wanted to pick up Vision on the way. And Vala caught me, so that was bad for me. Oh. Oh, well, that was close. That was, uh, that was pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, Vikings already got half the objective. I guess we don't all have to go there. We also have to, so have to soak. Wow, he's not looking at it, or is he? Ah, he pulled all top. I need to go top to protect the Ford. My temple's power. Yo, thanks, dude. How would you explain the risk of pushing up against Keep Wall later in the game versus Fort Wall Zone in the game? Uh, let me answer that in a sec. Maybe I should have blinded for my team. How would you explain the risk of pushing up against people later in the game versus Fort Walls early? Uh, it's just way deeper. Don't do it. Always get Fort Walls first. Forts, get Forts over Keep Walls. Not too bad, we got a whole bunch of kills down there. Uh, can I save them? I think the fight is over already. What was that heal on Eric? Does Eric have heal? Yeah, Eric the Swift, he heals when he runs. Lock him up. I don't know why Deckard went back in there. I think he was trying to juke a little bit too much and he had no Lornado. Yes. 
Nice. Ah, uh, we, we are losing both temples. This sucks. Getting distracted. Okay, I got this now. I think Anduin maybe shouldn't have been here, but everyone's trying to do the best. I don't think he needed to be with me. At least we're getting two forts as well. But overall, we're falling behind in structures. Let's see. Can we stop Vala from taking our camp? I think we can. <laughs> Murden only focused on the camp aid. Now we have Titan Killer. I'm gonna catch him. Oh! <laughs> I queued into the Skullcracker. Thank you, Anduin. So I actually gained distance on him with Q. Nice! We can boss. I queued into the Skullcracker so I gained distance on him. Titan Killer is doing some sick damage at T for two. Yeah, let's push with it. We have withstood this challenge. My wounds are mending. The light of the sun. Oops. That was a mistake. <laughs> ouch, 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 ouch. Uh oh, oh no, oh no. Oi, oi, oi. Did we get keep? No. Uh, this one was kind of on me. It was on me. So what happened is uh, I did try to swap on Muradin. I was trying to do a swap on Muradin and then I accidentally got behind their gate because he stepped back. I was hoping he wouldn't. That was my hope. I knew it was a possibility. Then I broke out of the wall and I panicked and used my ult, which is a four second blind in a large area. And because of that, I don't think we had enough survivability in the main fight. Oh no, chain deaths. That's not good. Okay, we lose a keep as well. Uh, not as well, we lose a keep, they didn't. I can tell how strong my auto attacks are compared to usual because of the level one. Normally I expect to need more auto attacks. Now, I don't want to hard engage with light bomb. I'm just doing a flip to make th keep them honest. He should rather save it.
Dude, Vala was so low, that's, that kind of stinks. But we also engaged right before Nova came back. Oh, interesting. Ah. Uh, yeah, so we made a number of really bad... Oh, oh, oh. We made a number of really bad follow-up uh, plays. Uh, I don't think this was classified as a rough Artanis game, Omega. I think this game went really, really well for us. It's a bad draft, but we can still win. But we made a number of mistakes. Me at the gate there, then Nova dying at home. Then I didn't engage on Vala, but not to win the fight, but just to keep her honest. And then I got uh, Diablo to go deep for her. And it was actually kind of close, but Nova isn't back. So it was like a low odds play. And it's kind of like how we baited each other into a team fight that we know we shouldn't be taking yet. This was actually a, a really happy Artanis game. I did insane hero damage and I got good soak. The quest and the talent build was really cool. I would actually play this build again. I don't usually deal this much damage. It's quite sick actually.